In this video, we're going to edit an imported step file without any history. From the file drop-down menu, select Open and select the step file that you want to open. Next, we're going to change some through holes to counter bar holes. Select both through holes, then with the right mouse button, select Edit. A dialog window will appear. Change to a counter bar type. Select the size that you want the hole to be, then select OK. Next, select the face that you want the counter bore holes to appear and select OK. Let's offset the size of the pocket at the top of that flange. At the upper right hand corner of the interface, select the Select icon, then Feature, and then Pocket, then mouse over the images that you want to select, select them, and then right mouse button with OK. With the face is selected, select the right mouse button, say Move Scale. And move over the blue arrow and select with the right mouse button and change to offset. Now you can drag those faces to offset the size of the faces. Let's enter the size that you want the faces to offset. Select OK with the right mouse button when done. Now let's increase the width of the bracket. Select the hole you see on the screen with the right mouse button select Move Scale. Rotate to the front view. Then in the conversation bar at the top, select the Add button. Now using the left mouse button, drag across the entities you see on the screen to select them. Hit OK at the top in the conversation bar. Now at the top in the conversation bar, select Add Invert and select the entities you see on the screen using the left mouse button. Select OK. Now with the left mouse button, select the center sphere in the diner handle, hold it, and drag it across to the center of the part. Now by selecting the X diner handle and holding it down, you can change the width of the part. You can also easily type in the value that you want the width to be. Then with the right mouse button, select OK. Now let's change the two mounting holes using Dimension Driven Edit. Select the Dimension Driven Edit icon at the top of the ribbon. Select the first hole on the left hand side and place your dimension. Staying in the same function, if you mouse over the dimension, you'll notice that that one hole highlights. If you hold down the Shift key as you mouse over that same dimension, you'll notice that the pattern of holes highlights. Let's change the size. Now let's change the constant fillet network on the model. The upper right hand side select the select icon. In the conversation bar select feature, blend, then all. Then mouse over one of the blends and you'll notice that all of them highlight and select OK. Once all the blends are highlighted, with the right mouse button select edit. Then you'll see a dyna handle appear, select the dyna handle and we're going to change that value to 1.25. In some cases you might not be able to edit blends this way. In those cases, there are other videos that show you easy ways that you can quickly edit blends. Now let's use Dimension Driven Editing to change the distance of the flange to one of the holes on the model. Select Dimension Driven Edit icon at the top. Then select the edge of the flange shown on the screen. Once that's done, select the edge of the hole shown. After the hole is selected, place your dimension. Now mouse over the top of the dimension. You notice that the top face of the flange highlights. Select it. At the top of the conversations are say add and then window and the entire flange and select OK. Now change the size of the dimension that you want it to be. Now let's rotate to the right side view. The right mouse button select curve and then vertical line. Insert a vertical line where you see the snap on the screen. Next, select Dimension Driven Edit. Select the edge you see on the screen and that vertical line. In this case, actually the line looks horizontal because of the X, Y, Z coordinate. Place your dimension. Select the top of the dimension. Then in the conversation bar, select Add. A window in the flange. Change the dimension from 15 to 0 and you'll notice that the flange is now flat. Using a couple simple functions, you've seen how easy it is to change an imported model without any history using Key Creator Prime. Now let's create a different model from the same step file we've been working with. Select the solid tab at the top in the ribbon interface, then select the prune icon. In the conversation bar, select cut, then feature, then boss. Now mouse over the flange, and select the flange, the right mouse button select OK. Back in the conversation bar select the pocket and mouse over the pocket and the flange. The right mouse button say OK. 
in the conversation bar, select OK. Let's go to the right side view. Now let's move the flange away from the rest of the model. Window in the flange, then with the right mouse button, select the move scale. Select the point on the flange to move, and then select the hand, dyna handle to move it away from the rest of the part. Select OK when done. Now let's revolve the top face on that bracket. Select the face, and with the right mouse button, select Move Scale. Once the dyna handle appears, select the yellow sphere, hold it with the left mouse button, and drag it to the edge of the face. Now select the green arrow, and drag that 1.25 millimeters. Now select the red rotation angle, and with the right mouse button, make sure that says Revolve. Now rotate it negative 90 degrees. Next, select the blue dyna handle, and right mouse button and switch that to Extrude. Make sure Extrude says 0 degrees for angle. Now select the blue dyna handle and drag that out 7.125 millimeters. And with the right mouse button, say OK. Next, let's take the flange and rotate it in the position with the rest of the model. Dragging with the left mouse button, select the flange. With the right mouse button, select Move Scale. In the conversation bar at the top, select two positions. Then mess over the flange and select the two centers of the arc shown in the video. Once the dyna handle appears, select the red rotation handle and rotate it 90 degrees. Then select the center yellow sphere, again holding with the left mouse button, and drag it into position. You can use the green Y handle to further adjust the location of the flange. Now let's turn the two solids back into one. Simply select the Unite icon at the top and select both solids and it will become one solid. Again, make changes to any imported model quickly and easily without any history.